Hello, David Zeritsky for James Bond Lifestyle Video Podcast. Welcome back, everyone. It's been a little bit, but uh, I think I have something very special for you. If you're anything like me, and I think you are, you're probably having a little trouble hanging on as far as patience for Skyfall. Yes, we've seen clapperboards. Uh, we've seen the odds and end picture. We've seen things that we're excited about and things that we want to get excited about. But um, what's a collector to do in the meantime? Well, there's some things out there that you can start to acquire right away. You can start building your Skyfall display immediately. You don't have to wait for November or for you lucky folks in the, in the UK, October. So let's get right onto it. What are, what are some of the pieces and parts that you could actually collect? Let's start with the first one. So the first piece that you can collect and acquire immediately is, uh, is kind of fun. It's a little tongue-in-cheek, but it's actually a very serious piece. So this is a Remembrance Poppy. Um, the poppies uh, were specifically used, oh my gosh, since 1914 to remember fallen soldiers around the world. They've really picked up steam and significance in uh, the European markets and uh, for a very small donation uh, they sell these paper and plastic poppies. This particular one, um, actually the same exact type, it's got plastic on the back and sort of made out of a, a very hard paper and it, you know, on there, which you'll never pick up, but it, it actually says uh, Poppy Appeal, were worn by all the different stars during the press junket for Skyfall. So you may have noticed that the men were wearing them here, Judy Dench was wearing it there, and they were just showing their respect. So this is typically worn in October uh, through into November um, in the United States, in the UK prominently, but uh, to me it was the first showing of something that I could actually receive from Skyfall. Is it a bit desperate? Probably. But it's a lot of fun and I know some of you out there have collected it. Well, let's see what else we can find. The next piece is actually quite cool. It's the Literary Review and specifically October 2011. This you can see has Charles Dickens on it. Now this particular magazine um, very interesting story. The editors of this particular magazine were um, were discussed with Eon specifically because they wanted to round out the picture of M. And this is going to actually premiere somewhere either in M's abode or her office to show that she is uh, more than just the top of all the secret agents. That she actually has a cultural vibe to her. So I got in touch with actually the publisher and make sure that uh, I bought some of these for my friends. And um, if it makes the cut of the film, great. It's a little bit of a risk, but a lot of these collections are. To me, it was uh, for a very good cause, a very good magazine, and chances are we'll see it as associated with them. So it makes a, a, a great piece. What's nice about this, though, is that Eon did not uh, ask for a charge, if you will, or a sponsorship from them. So this is free. Think about what Omega pays. Think about what, you know, uh, Tom, Tom Ford, for example, pays to be in a Bond film. This, it's gratis, but it's really going to do a lot of wonders. Now, if I was you, before it gets too late, and before all these back issues are gone, I would get in touch with them, the literary review, and I would make sure that you get issue 392. It's about three and a half pounds, but you'll have a James Bond prop from Skyfall right away. Now this is uh, not three and a half pounds. <laughs> this actually costs um, quite a bit more, but worth it. So think about La Perla, right? Think about how iconic those particular swimwear was in Casino Royale. Well, there was a picture that was leaked, and I'm sure most of you saw it, of uh, Daniel Craig showing his um, what's the American term for it? Coin slot, if you will, sitting by the edge of a pool wearing Olibar Brown in this particular color, which is sky. Um, it's a beautiful piece. The Olibar people we got in contact with are very proud of their association with uh, Bond. As a matter of fact, um, this piece comes with a wonderful beach bag so your uh, other clothes don't get wet. The, the actual fabric itself and the cut are a little bit more um, humble. Let's just say humble. 
than the La Perla ones, which uh, you would have to make sure that nobody was probably looking to wear them. Plus, you'd have to be as fit as Bond to wear. These are a little bit more forgiving. They've got uh, kind of a side tabs that have the Olibar Brown um, uh, logo on it, as well as all the details. And what's very neat on the inside is a zipper, which to me just screams 1960s. Now, I've seen a lot of people on the web and the internet say, uh, gosh, another light blue, but think about it. Go back to Connery. He wore light blue swimsuits. He wore a light blue uh, onesie piece and Goldfinger. Light blue is Bond's color. I mean, let's just deal with it. And uh, I know that these are still available. They're phenomenal. Um, if you remember quickly, going back to 2006, once La Perla, once it was established um, and the detectives out there found out that they were La Perla, they sold out very quickly. They reissued them again, but um, these don't have to be reissued. They can be uh, gotten right now. So uh, if you're of the ilk and the mindset and you have the foldable income, I highly suggest them. Well, this is one of the funnier stories of Skyfall. So in this particular case, You've probably seen these or heard about these. These are the much uh, controversial Nike Sweet Classic High sneakers. So this started out as a Daniel Craig personal favorite that he wore to, my gosh, premieres of the uh, Dragon Tattoo um, and just in New York with Rachel Weisz. The reality is, is that you see them in Skyfall. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, there are some pictures now that you see of Bond with his scraggly beard and a leather jacket and kind of a floral shirt. And the pictures have actually gone inside the Land Rover or the vehicle that he's in. And sure enough, he's wearing these exact shoes. So, depends on how much of a diehard you are or, you know, are you trying to be a completist. Now, the reality is these are very comfortable. They're very cool. They're very fun. Um, you know, I'm in here in the Northeast go to New York a lot. These are the norm, by the way. Uh, somebody out there in a different part of the world may think, my gosh, those are clown shoes. Up to you. But, so far in the spy pictures for Skyfall, you do see these. Just saying. So the next piece, which actually you can find on eBay still, um, is kind of an unusual piece. And I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, you just... You just noticed my shirt? You just noticed my shirt. You're kidding. Sheriff Pepper from Live and Let Die? This is fantastic. So, yes, this will not be seen in Skyfall, but I've got to show you these. I'm a big fan of this uh, particular gentleman. John Timoni has actually come up with a company called Junk Mail Clothing, which is a great name, by the way. Mail spelled M-A-L-E. And he's done a very, very very limited short run of James Bond shirts. This particular one is one of my favorites. Um, it actually shows the Walther PPK, but it actually shows all the different songs, not all of them, but a good part of them. Uh, Gassing the Gangsters, Do You Know uh, How Christmas Trees Are Grown, all in the shape of a Walther PPK and a V-neck. And by the way, these shirts, although you can't feel through a video podcast, are extremely soft. This one, Again, one of my favorites. Who doesn't remember this indelible scene? It's sure going to be a beautiful day. Yes, sir. A beautiful day. Ah, 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 ah. Great shirt. So, what's special about these besides the fact that they're Bond, they're indelible, and by the way, you can even see the speedboat going across my chest off of uh, the sheriff's shirt, is that Junk Mail takes great pride in limited edition t-shirts. Now, I don't know how many fashionistas out there know about limited edition t-shirts, but essentially um, these are a very small run. Think of under 20, even under 30, and that's even in multiple sizes because they source the best cotton, the best cloth. In fact, there's a um, uh, earth protection movement, if you will, um, that actually speaks to the different cottons and combing and the treatment. So these things feel like mohair. I mean, they're just really, really incredible t-shirts, extremely well made, but very, very unique and very different. Now, besides the uh, organic cotton and the fair trade aspect of these particular t-shirts, which if it's not important to you, it should be, um, this printing actually goes on with something called discharge printing. So most t-shirts that you get out there in Target and Walmart, if you feel the edging, you actually can feel the words and edges. And you're like, oh wow, it's raised. That's not good. So discharge printing actually uh, 
kisses and prints and brands, if you will, the ink into the shirt so it becomes permanent. So this particular piece is going to look like this particular piece many, many years. So John, thank you very much. These are fantastic. And if you look below, you can actually see a website where you can get in touch with John. He's a fan, which is very cool. We like to support the fans out there. Um, well, that's it for Skyfall right now. I think what we're going to have is a part two, part three, part four, part five, as you can imagine. Uh, there is a big announcement coming in autumn around the different Tom Ford pieces with Skyfall. And uh, I've been told that we're going to be able to get an exclusive, uh, limited exclusive heads up before anybody else. And hopefully we'll get this on that particular video podcast. So until then, this is David Zaritsky for James Bond Lifestyle Video Podcast. Thanks, tune in, and we'll see you soon.